Hey everybody, welcome to the Life Smile Vlog. I'm Sharon Lewis, and as always, I'm so, so glad that you're here today. Thank you for dropping in. Thanks for spending some of your time with me today. I'm just gonna dive right in today. I've got some good news for you that I wanna share with you that I hope brings you encouragement and gives you some hope um, as you're going through your journey and wherever your day finds you. I just hope this brings you a dose of encouragement and hope. So we're just gonna get right into the meat of this video. Um, it was a normal day. Day. Um, nothing special was going on this particular day that I'm going to share with you about. I was just kind of driving in the car, talking to the Lord. I'm sure many of you have kind of had those moments where, you know, it's not like you're in a prayer closet. It's not like you're at home. It's not like you've devoted an hour to pray to the Lord. You're just kind of driving along, minding your business, just talking to the Lord. And I was talking to him and I heard him say so clearly this day to me, he said, Sharon, you're sitting on a gold mine. And I thought, okay. So it kind of took me back a little bit and I, you know, was just, I was kind of moving about my day and I thought, okay, Lord, you know, thank you. I'm, I'm thankful that I'm sitting on a gold mine. I'm gonna need to talk to you a little more about that later. But, you know, I was uh, kind of, you know, doing errands or whatever. I don't remember what I was doing, but I was in the car doing something. And so I couldn't really delve into um, what that meant, but I did that later and I'm gonna share that with you. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The fact that you, my friend, are sitting on a gold mine and I'm gonna explain that to you exactly what the Lord showed me that day. And it has, um, it changed my perspective. It changed how I viewed myself and it made me very um, much wanting to share with others that you as well are sitting on a gold mine and um, what you carry is important and it's valuable and it's weighty and um, I want you to realize that you are sitting on a gold mine. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, anybody that knows me at all personally knows that my favorite, favorite human in the world is my daughter, Abby. And you would also know that one of our favorite places to go together is Walt Disney World. Um, we live here in Florida. It's about an hour away from us. And so on in a normal year, we're in 2020 right now, which is not a normal year, but um, we, uh, on any normal, time would be over at Disney like any free time that we have. We spend vacations there um, and just as things are currently, we haven't been in a while and we miss it very much. But if you if you know me at all, you know that that's one of our favorite places to be. And um, you know, we love all the different parks and uh, for different reasons and there's, you know, special places and special things at each park that we love. But um, one of the things that we really love about Disney are the different um, mountain range roller coaster rides. So you've got Space Mountain, Big Thunder Railroad, um, Splash Mountain. Anyway, so there's all those. And then there's, of course, you know, even the mine train, which really isn't a mountain. Is it a mountain? Anyway, we'll get back to that. I'll do a Disney uh, vlog later <laughs> about the rides there. Anyways, moving on. Um, so one of the uh, favorite rides that we love particularly at the Magic Kingdom Park, is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and we love that. Abby has loved that ride since she was tall enough to ride it. The second moment she was tall enough to be allowed onto that ride, she has loved it ever since. So that's kind of like one of our, one of the attractions that we have to go on every time we go to Magic Kingdom. It's always been a favorite of hers. Um, and the story um, of the ride is as you would expect. It's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Um, it's the story about a small mining town that discovers gold. They use the mine train to transport the gold. Um, and actually, it's, it's cool because the story actually has more of an arc. Um, but I'm going to simplify it here for the video purposes. But if you want to look up on Wikipedia, it's a really cool story um, about the ride. And it, the next time I wrote it after reading that, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Any rate, so sometimes anyways, when we're standing there in line, um, waiting for our turn to ride, um, there's been a couple times where I'm kind of looking across across the ride and as we're waiting, and my imagination can sometimes start to drift. You know, you're standing in line, there's really not much to do. So <laughs> my imagination kind of will start to drift and I, I can picture kind of rare, like buried treasure, 
beneath us, you know, pure gold down deep in the earth, almost it's being um, as if it's being preserved for something or someone special. Uh, we can't see it, right? But it's there. And I, I picture this as we're standing in line, especially after I kind of read the storyline of the ride. Um, so there's, it's there. We can't see it. It's buried deep, deep uh, underneath the surface. Wealth and valuable resources, a gold mine. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about a gold mine. And I, you know, refer to, of course, something that has to do with Disney. So just stay with me. <laughs> Um, so I am the good news that I have for you today is that as I said earlier I'm here to tell you that you too are sitting on a gold mine um, just like the Lord spoke to me that day you carry treasures untold and gifts that the Lord intends to utilize to further the kingdom the infinite treasury that he's placed inside of you is so valuable and it is so precious and I'm just wondering how many of us we walk around not realizing that worth and value. But I'm here today to tell you that you carry around worth, you carry value, and you carry things and treasures inside of you that the Lord intends to utilize for the work of the kingdom. The enemy would love to keep us all in a stupor, and this is where we need to be um, standing vigilant and realizing what the Lord's placed inside of us because the enemy wants us to be blinded to the importance of, of what it is that we carry inside of us. Because if we don't view what the Lord has placed in us, and listen to this, this is very important, and this is where um, I stumbled a little bit um, years ago, because if we don't view what the Lord has placed in us as valuable and as precious and worth sharing, then why would we step out into them and cultivate them and do anything with them? Because if the enemy can blind us and make us think, oh, I'm not really anything special or I don't really have anything to offer, why would we step out into those things and why would we spend any time growing them or allowing the Lord to cultivate those things in us, those gifts that he's placed in us? If we don't view them as valuable and special, then why would we step out in them? So that's where the enemy wants us to kind of be stalled and frozen that not thinking that we have anything to offer, not thinking that what the Lord has placed inside of us is precious and as a gold mine that we're sitting on with so much to offer the kingdom of God and so much to be a blessing to people. The enemy wants us to not realize our worth and our value and it's been a tactic of the enemy for so long. Um, so we move along in life and we leave all of the gold very deep inside of us because we don't realize that we are really sitting, what we are really sitting on. And it's one of the most underhanded tricks of the enemy because it's subtle yet it's also dangerous. I believe it's true for most of us that we're not trying to be, at least this was in my case, we're not trying to be disobedient by doing nothing with this gold that the Lord has placed on the inside of us. It's simply that we've just believed the lies for so long that our gifts aren't important. And we neglect the very thing that the Lord intended us to unearth, the gold, the treasures that he's placed inside of us. We have believed the lies for so long that they're not worth anything. And it's not, and again, like I said, in my case, a lot of the times it was like I wasn't rebelling or running from the call of God on my life or, um, you know, trying to be disobedient. I just never realized the worth that I carried inside of me, the things that the Lord placed in me, the gifts he placed in me was for his kingdom and worth something and precious to be valued. And so I believe the lies for so long. You know, the one thing that I always think about, the one thing that I always come back around to is that if I would have had a true grasp on my worth and my value and knew how much the Lord had planned for my life, I honestly believe that I would have made some different choices earlier on in my life. And I honestly think that um, it's not about, oh, if I would have only done this or that, you know, it's not like, you know, I'm saying, oh, if I would have only done this or, uh, you know, it's not about regretting choices. I'm simply saying that it's a call to everyone out there, to you that's listening to this right now, that's listening to me, to be sure that you discover, you truly discover that you are sitting on a gold mine, that you hear the words that I'm speaking to you today and they're, they resonate with you and that you're listening. Um, with ears to hear that you are sitting on a gold mine and you will know what a treasure that you carry around with you and you will know that you need special people in your life to help protect your treasure and to help you mine it as well 
I believe that the Lord will surround us with people to not only encourage the gifts that we know about, but also help us discover new gold, new treasures that are within us to help draw it out of us. The key is we have to realize this about ourselves first so that we don't allow the wrong people in that will devalue what we carry. Now I'm speaking just for a couple minutes here to the singles. Um, maybe you've been married before single moms out there that I speak to often that I like to encourage because I'm right there with you um, but if the the young people that might be listening to this I want you to hear me and hear this well that you have to know first what you carry is valuable and precious the gifts the Lord has placed in you the gift of the Father the spirit that you carry around with you is valuable but the things that he has placed in you and gifted you with um, that's a treasure that you carry with you and you need special people in your life. And I'm talking about the people, the person that you would, would link yourself up with, um, talking about marriage material. You need special people in your life that will help protect the treasure, the gold that the Lord has planted or that's placed inside of you. You need people in your life, a person that you can link up with that sees the treasure in you, that sees the value of the gifts God has placed in you to help you to grow in that, to protect it, and to also help you mine it as well, to help you grow in that. So not only protect it, to protect the anointing that the Lord's placed in you and upon you and the giftings he's put in you, um, that but that they would help you mine it and encourage those other gifts and gifts that you may not even see, treasures you may not even see right now in your life. The Lord um, wants, has certain people lined up, you know, friends, spouse, people that would surround you and see and draw out those other giftings that you may not even see. You know, sometimes there's obvious gifts that we have that we're like, okay, yes, I need to use that for the kingdom. That's something the Lord has given me, but there's also things sometimes that we don't even see that it takes someone else from the outside to call those things out in us and to say, you know, this is a gifting that I see in you. Like you need to work on that and grow in that so the Lord can also use that. So I'm speaking to you today and I want you to hear me that unless you see that first though, if you don't see those things as valuable and if you don't see the worth that you carry around, then you're not going to be cautious. You're not going to be looking around to see the people that are going to help you protect it. Because if you don't even think it's worth anything anyway, then why would you be searching for someone that would help protect those treasures and protect the gold that the Lord has buried inside of you and, and connect with the ones that will help you to mine and grow in those giftings? You have to see it first. And, and the people that will help draw it out of us. The key is that we have to realize that first so we don't allow the wrong people in that would devalue what we carry, whether on purpose or not. I'm not saying that, you know, there's people that are trying to do that on purpose, but some people, they just don't see it. You know, if, if they're not called to be alongside of you as a friend, um, you know, if the Lord, you know, there's just people that kind of come along that don't necessarily see the gifts that are inside of us. And we need to make sure that we are connecting ourselves with people that see the value and the worth of um, what God has placed inside of us. You know, Matthew 7, 6 um, says, don't give holy things to depraved men. Don't give pearls to swine. They will trample the pearls and turn and attack you. And I'm speaking again to singles, especially young ladies that are out there looking for your special guy, and even young men that are looking for your special gal, my strong guidance to you would be, again, know your worth and value first. It has to start there, and you get that from the Lord. The Lord gives you your value and your worth. The Lord will show you those things, but you've got to be before the Father. You've got to be seeking the Father. You've got to know your worth and your value first. Then... And only then will you be savvy enough to sniff out the counterfeits and save yourself a lot of wasted time at best and a lot of heartache at worst. And I can share with you from experience, so please, please listen when I say that knowing your worth and value and realize you are indeed sitting on a gold mine will absolutely change your frame of reference, okay? And will impact what you allow in your life and what you don't. So you want to be able to say, 
that's not good, that's not gonna be beneficial, that person does not see my worth and my value, so therefore I'm not gonna let them to come in and be a part of what the Lord's doing in my life. You've gotta be able to decipher, and until you are confident, and until you realize and know your worth and value, you're just gonna kinda let anybody come in that may or may not value what the Lord has placed inside of you, and it's important that you have friends surrounding you, especially the one that you are looking you know, for a spouse, for life. You've gotta have someone that sees the value inside of you and that will pull that out of you, right? Um, as some of you that may have you know, been familiar with my story, you've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that I walked through a pretty tough season years ago and it was, um, you know, a, a tough season, um, and I, you know, kind of, I say Abby is my silver lining out of that season. I'm so blessed um, with her, but it was a time of tough lessons and a good share of heartache and an enormous amount of God's grace and God's mercy. Um, would I do a thousand things differently if the today me was faced with the same set of circumstances and choices? For sure, you bet. Um, do I wall in self-pity and stay focused on why I chose the path that I did and why I ended up a divorced single mom and where would I be if only not anymore the Lord has brought me so far very far um, and so much time has passed that in a strange way kind of when I think about that time in my life that it's almost as if I'm thinking about someone else you know because it seems so far removed from the person that I am today um, and how I would function and so my, almost when I think about that time in my life my sentiments are kind of like Oh, that's a real shame she had to walk through all of that you know it's kind of like it's a different person and then it's like no that that she is me and I did walk, walk through all of that and I can testify to God's redeeming love um, and he surely did make you know beauty out of ashes and is a God of restoration and he's not done yet he's still working um, today you know I'm in such a different place and it's because I've allowed you know the Lord to really do a work in my heart and I've yielded to um, becoming very aware of kind of what he's placed in me and I know that I'm sitting on a gold mine and sometimes I do have to still remind myself of that you know that hey you know there's value and worth of what he's placed in me and as I step out into new things and new seasons and things that he's asking me to do like this YouTube channel and sharing my story my life and sharing encouragement with you um, you know, I have to keep reminding myself okay this it's you need to step out it's okay to step out you know the Lord is, is placed inside of you it's valuable what he's done you need to share your story um, I know that he's placed treasure inside of me and it's my responsibility to mine it and to walk those things out and I just want to encourage to others to see all the gold that you're sitting on and inspire you to dig it up and do great things for the kingdom um, you're so very valuable and precious in his sight um, and his love for you is so great and I'm just gonna leave you with a scripture today just as an encouragement to you and meditate on this today so that it gets in your heart and you realize just how valuable you are and um, just allow the Lord to continue uh, to work in in you and bring that gold out and surround yourself with the people that um, will help you to do that. Um, so this is Psalm 139, one of my favorite chapters of the Psalms. It's 139, 13 through 16. Um, this is for you to meditate on today. Uh, you formed my innermost being shaping my delicate inside and my intricate outside and wove them all together in my mother's womb. I thank you, God, for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. It simply amazes me to think about it, how thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place, carefully, skillfully shaping me from nothing to something. You saw, you saw who you created me to be before I became me. Before I'd ever seen the light of day, the number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. So just take that with you today. Be encouraged. You're sitting on a gold mine today. That's the good news that I have for you today. You're sitting on a gold mine. You are valuable. Um, you are a treasure in the Father's eyes. And I want you just to meditate on that today and be encouraged. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Remember, and on the Life Smile vlog, a smile is always in style. Go out and share your smile with the world today. And never forget that you are valuable and a treasure. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.